BBC Inspiring Uganda Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Victoria Namlawa Tibenda. I'm a, a senior principal research officer working with NARO, currently working as the head Aquaculture Research and Development Center, which is located 12 kilometers in Tebe, Kampala Road. I'm here to take you through the journey of the Aquaculture Research and Development Center, which in short, we refer to as ARDC. ARDC is an establishment of the National Agricultural Research Organization that is popularly known as NARO. NARO runs with very good vision, mission, and it operates under a mandate. NARO's vision is to see a market responsive, client oriented, and demand driven national agricultural research system with a mission to generate and disseminate appropriate, uh, safe and cost-effective technologies. Uh, its goal is to enhance the contribution of agricultural research to sustainable agricultural production, sustain competitiveness, uh, economic growth, food security, and uh, poverty eradication. Because NARO holds the mandate to coordinate, oversee, and guide agricultural research in Uganda. So with this, NARO has got NARO has got 16 public agricultural research institutes, all of which concentrate on different uh, commodities. We have got uh, nine of them at the zonal levels, and uh, the other seven are at the national level. The institutes at the national level have got a job to generate technology and the ones at the national, at the zonal level have got the job of disseminating these technologies to be adapted in the different agroecological zones in Uganda. We at the Aquaculture Research and Development Center belong to one of the national public agricultural institutes under NARO, which is called the National Fisheries Resources Research Institute. That puts emphasis in generating technologies in fisheries research. At the Aquaculture Research and Development Center that is located at Kajansi, we have a task to develop technologies that answer to the challenges in the aquaculture subsector. Colleagues, I want you to appreciate that the Aquaculture Research and Development Center is a very old establishment. It started way back in 1953. By then it was called the Fish Experimental Station and it was set up by the then colonial government after observing that fish is a very important commodity that every Ugandan should enjoy. But in their logic, they observed that fish at one time will be very scarce in Uganda. And the thinking was that, let them set up this station to ensure that there is continuous production of seed that will feed into the production systems for the different what? farmers. So the journey of the Aquaculture Research and Development Center, which started as a fish experimental station, is now coming to 70 years of age. And uh, as I've indicated before, it appreciates the fact that aquaculture is disturbed by a lot of challenges. Fish farmers have a challenge of seed, both in quality and quantity. Fish farmers have a challenge in seed, both in quality and quantity. Fish farmers do not know which production system to use. They ask themselves, should we use ponds, 
cages or tanks. Added to that, there are a lot of individuals, potential, and those that are in, in the enterprise, but they do not know how to operate this as a business. I'm talking about aquaculture. So they are short of the insights of conducting aquaculture as a business. Then there are challenges of marketing farm products. Farmers do not know how to add value. So the Aquaculture and Development Center is cognizant of those challenges and operates different research platforms that address those different challenges. So at the Aquaculture Research and Development Center, we have got a research platform that looks at fish feed uh, production and management. We have a research platform that looks at fish seed genetic improvement and hatchery management. We have a research platform that looks at aquaculture production systems design and management. Then we have a research platform that looks at the social economic aspects in regards to aquaculture. We also have a unit in value addition. The setting is made in such a way that we answer to the challenges in the aquaculture subsector because we realize that we have got challenges in fish production. Individuals have largely come out to make advances in fish production using aquaculture, but there is a disconnect. While we reside with the technologies, our farmers out there are still crying. They do not get these technologies to them. So the Aquaculture and Development Center, this time around, is engaging private sector to ensure that these technologies are disseminated to the general public. Uh, we can say that uh, in our line of research, we have made a number of achievements at the center. We have engaged in, as I outlined, our different research platforms. We have got uh, technologies in formulating feed using locally available materials, be them plant-based or animal-based. So we have got feed formulae that fit farmers' demand depending on the different inputs the farmer can get around him or herself. So we can design for you a feed formula that fits your pocket or your resources. And also a feed formula that fits a particular species that you're farming. Then we have got uh, different packages for seed production. We have got individuals that are engaged in hatcheries and uh, many of them do not know how to manage the hatcheries. Many of them do not ex have expertise in breeding or reproducing tilapia or catfish artificially. So we have got packages of training farmers and hatchery attendants in that line. So that when somebody leaves Kajansi with engagement with us, can be able to better manage his or her hatchery. We are looking at mainly three fish species. That is mainly tilapia, uh, which is scientifically known as tilapia oreochromis. Some people call it chivati, uh, or the ngege, which grows very big. Then we have another fish species, which we call uh, the African catfish, also known as emale. Then we have another fish called uh, uh, the Miracup. Uh, scientifically, it's called uh, Cyprina scapio. And uh, this one is very good in areas that are low in temperature. So we are putting emphasis in producing seed of these three fish species. But on the line, as we do research, we are putting on board other fish species depending on the demand of our farmers. A case in point is an important fish called Ningu. 
a very good delicacy, especially in the people staying in uh, Masaka region and in Busia. It is common in, on River Sio in Busia and Kagera. We have done research on that and we have ability to produce seed for Labeo. So this we produce on demand. We have got also technology of producing seed. When I, mean, when I say seed, I mean baby fish, which we can put in a pond or a tank or a cage to grow into mercure fish. So we have also ability to produce seed of uh, chisinja. I think some of you know that fish, which we find locally at the, around the bridge at the Nile. Uh, we, can, we have that ability. Then we have got also research in uh, emamba. We have made breakthroughs in producing the babies of emamba. But these three are still on a very low scale. We are also have interested ourselves in other fish species that are on demand. And when somebody approaches us, we can run the journey of research to produce a product. We also do research in uh, diseases that affect farmed fish, aquatic animal health, because we are cognizant of the fact that when you grow animals in a small space and they accumulate in number, diseases tend to crop in because the fish becomes stressed. So we have interested ourselves in undertaking research in health of fish. So we have developed uh, practices of managing diseases in fish, especially using products that are organic. We have seen over time many farmers running into using antibiotics to treat uh, bacterial caused diseases. But at the center we are saying no, that is not good. So we have developed organic products that can treat especially bacterial diseases in farmed fish. Uh, apart from that, we take farmers into best management practices to ensure control and prevention of diseases in farmed fish. We also take farmers into production systems. We have developed different technologies of uh, uh, draining ponds, designs of cages, and also tanks where you can grow the fish. Then we also engage and uh, train farmers in different fish value addition options. We will do this in collaboration with our sister institutes, especially the one that works with engineering, which has designed a fish smoking kiln for smoking fish without it having tar or substances that cause cancer to the consumer. Because we are aware that many times fish farmers grow the fish, but they do not have the market. And if a fish farmer does not have a market, it means that even the person in the hatchery will not have a market, even the person in the grow out system, in the ponds, tanks and cages will not have a market. So we are very happy on the fact of value addition to ensure that we increase marketability of farm products. This we handle together with the socio-economic aspects of aquaculture because as I said many of our farmers engage in fish farming without any business knowledge. They do not know that aquaculture should be engaged in as a business. So we take our farmers through business planning, the habit of record keeping, the habit of ensuring that there is close monitoring of this fish that we are farming. So at the Aquaculture Research and Development Center, we handle aquaculture in a wholesome kind of context because we know that aquaculture is a value chain. You cannot handle one node of the value chain and not handle the next. Uh, just like any other government agency, ARDC has got a number of challenges. 
one that hampers work in many government organizations is limited funding. Our funding is limited and remember our job is countrywide. We have duty to attend to all farmers in Uganda, be them in the ponds, tanks or cages. So our work goes to the whole country and sometimes beyond, but our funding is limited. Another aspect that comes again is the fact that we are sometimes challenged by the number of staff because as you realize the demand for our services is so wide but you might come and you need our service and our staff are engaged so in that way you get disappointed so at some point we are, have a challenge of staff otherwise uh, we can move on in the limited or constrained resources and do what we can to serve Uganda. We do appeal to our stakeholders in the aquaculture subsector to come and use our services at the Aquaculture Research and Development Center. If you ever get a thought to engage in this business, please seek technical advice. And the best place to seek for that is at ARDC. As we journey this, we do thank our partners, particularly uh, Uganda Broadcasting Corporation, that has worked with us in this journey. I also want to take this opportunity to thank the government of Uganda for putting in place a conducive environment for us to undertake research in this aquaculture subsector. I also wish to thank NARO that make sure that research is well planned, organized, and uh, the aquaculture research is well taken care of therein. I want to take this opportunity also to thank the institutes and organizations that we collaborate with, especially academia, mission in Makere University that we work with in different aspects, the Fisheries Training Institute and other universities like uh, Busitema University, uh, Gulu University, and uh, we have also development partners like GIZ, we have worked with the other regional organizations like ASAREKA, they've been funding aquaculture research. We have worked with uh, other African organizations coming from African Union. We have worked with FARA, very many. We have worked with uh, the International Institute of Research that is based at Nairobi. We have worked with very many institutes and all these ones come together to make sure that aquaculture or research in fish farming as a whole takes place. I want also to take this opportunity to thank the partners that we work with in disseminating information. In this place I want to be very appreciative to Slick Star Systems uh, Limited that we are going to work with in disseminating aquaculture uh, information in the forthcoming expo and all the agencies that are in that line. I also want to thank the colleagues we work with at local government when we come to disseminate information to the farmers. You help us to reach down to know where the different farmers are located, especially when we are collecting data and trying out our experiments in the different agroecological zones. Our Going forward, the future plans of the Aquaculture Research and Development Center look forward to bringing on the table fast growing fish because that is what most fish farmers want. So through our platform that looks at seed production and hatchery management, we are working behind the curtains 
to work to getting fish that grows fast, especially fast growing tilapia, disease resistant fish species, and also bringing on board more fish species that we can culture so that we give a fish farmer more options to farm the fish. We have also plans on bringing on board more formulae for feed because we know that uh, fish feed is a very important aspect. We also have plans to work with our different stakeholders. We have a number of other stakeholders in industry, people developing machines for making pelletized feed. We have individuals that are producing other inputs like the nets for seining in the ponds. We have individuals that are developing tanks for the tank culture. We have individuals that are uh, working with the nets for cage aquaculture. We have individuals that are working with um, products in the probiotics that we can use for increased fish production. So our circle is so wide. So we in the future look forward to increasing engagement and with an aim of seeing that aquaculture meets the target that Uganda set on by 2030. Government of Uganda has a dream of producing one million metric tons of fish through aquaculture. And with all those partners, we see ourselves working together to up this target, all for the purpose of increasing fish production for increased fish availability and access for all Ugandans to be able to consume the fish. As I close, I want to encourage all the women in Uganda and the world to take on the challenge, to be part of the conversation of contributing to the agricultural subsector, especially in aquaculture. Women are known to be very crucial in fish hatcheries because they're very good at nursing the fish babies. So take up the challenge because in the hatcheries, the ladies can be very important in producing the babies and fish seed is very important in the aquaculture sector. Women can be engaged in other areas. Uh, we have seen women working with cages on the lake, feeding the cages. We have seen women working with the tanks. And I also want to encourage women to take up the profession of research. Because without research, we cannot sustain agriculture. Thank you very much. We are again located at the Aquaculture Research and Development Center, which is 12 kilometers on Kampala Entebbe Road, just near the Entebbe Express interchange. For God and my country, I thank you. Uganda. This isn't just a girl. She is the future. This is a teacher, a doctor, a community leader, our future president. She is the hope of our community. And as a community leader, I will talk to others about how we must protect her against child marriage and teenage pregnancy because it affects us all. We each have a role to play in empowering our teenage girls to protect them from pregnancy. Because when we empower them, we empower our nation. Protect the girl, save the nation. Take action 